Hello, and welcome to this broadcast of Running on Love with God. My name is Lori Michelle, and in April of 2009, I was awakened to the voice of our Creator, and He said, go get pen and paper and start writing this down. And I listened, and it changed my life forever. Now, here I am, seven and a half years later, speaking out on global blog talk radio, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere I can to meet and greet my life's calling, which is to share Hashem, God, with you and whoever will listen. Today is December 25th, 2016. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate, I wish you the very happiest and most joyous holiday. Today, unusual, but it is true that Hanukkah and Christmas Day are one and the same. The first day of Hanukkah was today. And I'm broadcasting tonight to reveal to you what the 30-day uh, countdown has led us to today. Today is decision day for running on love. And 30 days ago, I turned it over to you, whoever you are, the world. The charity, Running on Love, is a charity that I was inspired to create after my awakening because it was a belief system that I have that giving should be done purely because we love. And we give in honor or memory of someone we love and we enjoy giving. It's not done out of curing an ill or because we have to and because it's the right thing to do, although it is, and we should give, but we should give because we are love and we desire to give. And that's what the Running on Love charity model is, to give in the name of love. And so I turned this over to you 30 days ago and every day I've been, or almost every day I've been posting and putting up videos and telling you how you're doing and asking for donations so that we can come together at 5K Festivals for Love and start learning and working for world peace. And that's truly the mission of Running on Love, to come together and heal the world through love, charity, and understanding. So today's decision day, and I was preparing for this day and up until today, about 10 people have donated. And I thought that I was going to give this ominous message of, well, we didn't do it, and now it's time for me to move on with my life's purpose, and I'll write my book, and I will have to dissolve the charity. And yesterday, Hashem, God said, not so fast. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, while it's true, the donations weren't there to keep this ultimately going or to fund a 5K festival for love, on December 25th, you will announce that the world has created a godly miracle. I said, really? He said, yes. You have just experienced a miracle, Lori. And you need to tell them that they, whoever they are, whoever you are, are responsible for creating a godly miracle. And I said, how? How is this a miracle? It's beautiful that I'm getting people to say thumbs up to these posts, but there's no festival for love on the calendar, Hashem. How is this a miracle? And he said, Lori, Miracle comes, miracles come in all forms, and we need to revisit a little bit about your seven-year history with Running on Love. So we took a walk down memory lane, and we went back as far as 2010 to the first real organized event. We, we did some teamwork. We had our first team ran in the Philadelphia Marathon in 2009. But the first real event that we organized a team together and ran as a team 
was the Asbury Park Relay Marathon in 2010. And there were eight people. And we raised thousands of dollars for various charities. And eight people did a leg of a 26.2 mile marathon. And we had a great time. We trained, we got together for training runs. And it was beautiful. And so I looked back at the video and the posts all the way back to 2010. And then we went forward to now. Now there are 6,200 people around the world who like running on love. And now in these past 30 days, about 10 people have don donated directly to running on love not for any other charity, but for running on love. But he went further and he said, Lori, you're saying a lot of wildly controversial things, aren't you? And I said, I guess. He said, what do you mean you guess? I said, well, I'm telling the truth. And he said, Lori, in July, you came out and told the world you're speaking to me in plain English and that we converse daily, nightly. And here we are now, December 25th, and people are engaged, but they're not just engaged, they're engaged in a very big way. Are you looking at the numbers? And I said, well, I see the thumbs. I said, Hashem, one post has about 260 thumbs up. And people saying, I support this. It was about redemption, the plan for redemption. He said, Lori, do you understand how wildly miraculous this is? And I said, maybe I don't. He said, Lori, look up the statistics on Facebook posts and engagement. So I did. And today I looked up and found one, po one person wrote that if you get 1% engagement on a post, don't be disappointed. It's very good. It's very hard to get people engaged on Facebook. So I did a little math with Hashem God. And I found that these little posts of this funny looking old mom from New Jersey is getting anywhere from 6 to 14% engagement. Wow. 14% <laughs> engagement, I found out today when I researched it, is usually only for email blasts. Email when you have someone's name and you send them an email directly to their name and they open it and that's an engagement. He said, Lori, these people are listening to you. He said, Lori, this is a holy miracle. You are experiencing a holy miracle. They're listening. This is the seed of the beginning of the global charity running on love. He said, you may not pull the plug on this charity. I said, well, Hashem, I don't need to do that today, but it needs funds to keep going. These posts, they if I don't promote them and pay Facebook to market these posts, they don't get seen in the same numbers. You have to pay. Social media, while it looks free, is really not free. He said, I know. Keep going. Do not quit. They're engaged, they're listening, and they want world peace. But he pointed out another miracle. Running on love is about love and God, one God, for all of God's children. And the people who are engaged, who are saying, thumbs up, I want peace 
now are Christian, Jewish, Muslim. They are atheist. They are people from all over the world. All over the world. Rio de Janeiro in huge numbers. Thumbs up. So I have wow news for you. I have to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I didn't expect this. On the Miracle of Lights holiday of Hanukkah on Christmas Day, I'm announcing God created a miracle through you. You have created a miracle today on December 25th, 2016. You're listening, you're engaged, and you want the world to run on love. And I am just so blessed and so pleased to deliver this beautiful news to you. Keep going, keep listening. I'm not stopping. And don't you stop either, because it's through us that we will feel his love permeate the earth, and we will have peace on earth in our time. God bless you. God bless your families. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. And thank you. It's a holy miracle. God bless you. Peace on earth. Run on love. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. And maybe, just maybe soon, I can announce that we will have our first festival for love together. God bless you. Sending you lots of love.